Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome back to Fort William. Ah, oh, reinforcements have arrived, my friends. Cheeky little Command and Conquer throwback. Um, ah, oh, it's, it's good. We haven't played any games. We've had our little winter two-week break. And I thought I'd come back and do a little mini transfer special because, obviously, we're playing in the Cup today and I wanted to show you the new two strikers, the debut. We're going to play both Kabugo and... Dejan Hushmit. <clears throat> that was it. But we get to welcome back a familiar face. We have made another signing. We're not probably not done yet, but we've made another signing. And you will recognise him. Dejan Bozniak. That was the badger. Uh, James Gallagher, my friends. 1.5 million. For, he was transfer listed by Celtic. Um... We had him on loan for two seasons. He was exceptional for that second season. And then he had two solid, getting plenty of games at Celtic. Uh, dropped off last oh, this season. He still played seven games this season. So it's not like he's not getting game time. Maybe just not performed enough. But James Gallagher, I'm delighted. He's still only 24 years old. He's valued at 3.1 million. We're paying him a decent wage, 11K. Um, we're going to play him as the Mazella because he's kind of built for it. His lowest attribute is 10 off the ball but everything else he's really good at as well and he's decent in the air which is always any good any player decent in the air is always helpful dictates tempo looks for pass likes to switch ball to the other flank um his passing is very good his vision he's a natural deep line playmaker so we, we can fit in there as well he could play in the number 10 role if we needed him or even as the deep line playmaker um defend that we're using because he's got decent tackling his marking's not fantastic but yeah, very excited to get this young boy. In. Young boy? He's 24. This guy, however, we're not signed yet. It might not happen. It's a lot of money for a 16-year-old. But you know how I like 16? Leave it. Leave it. Alan Hartley from Kilmarnock. Um, he's quite good for a 16-year-old. Um, currently in dealings with him there's a bunch of teams that won in Bournemouth Charlton Chelsea Tottenham and Rangers um Celtic came in and offered him a trial well they told him to go fuck themselves which as you would if they offered a trial he's got three caps to the under 21s already he's decent in the air six 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 foot lad at only 16 so we're gonna he's fickle getting some random personalities but I think he's a really solid player he's decent pace as well for a big lad um and he's got all the attributes to be a very good poacher already. But at 16 years old, what I'm hoping to do is he's, he's playing games in the championship. So I'm, I'm trying to buy him, loan him back for the rest of the season because we don't need another striker. And then that gives us the rest of the season to either work out who works, who doesn't, maybe Morrison's next on the line a little bit or loan him out again next season or whatever. So... Yeah, very, very excited. Um, the only one we really missed out on. Um, is it not going to tell me, is it? Damn it. There was this left back. We don't really need a left back. We've got Derwin, who's going to develop, hopefully, because I spent a shit ton of money on him. But there was a German left back that was transfer listed by Stuttgart. And I was like, he's amazing. Four star current ability, five star potential, 2.7 million quid. Um, but sadly, he went somewhere else in Germany. Uh, Pfiffer finally went. Four million quid, two million up front, two million over two years, plus 30% sell-on fee. <laughs> really annoying. I So I, I, I'd accepted two bids exactly the same. Two million up front, two million over two years, 30% sell-on fee. That's what I negotiated with both these teams, accepted. Waiting for it to go through. Waiting for it. Yep, waiting for it. Another, another team put in a bid. Um... 2.2 million total, like split up and all sorts. And the board accepted it. It was too good to turn down. Which is just, it's just a bug, isn't it? That's just broken. <laughs> um, there's, no other, there's no way of explaining that. <laughs> We've already accepted four million pound bids and you're going, oh, this 2.2 million, too good to turn down. Um, but luckily I was able to protest it and say, don't sell him. He's a really good wonder kid and we should develop him. Despite him being transfer listed and I've already accepted offers. And they were like, yes, good point, Loki. And I was like, thank you very much. <laughs> so that that was weird. But I'm, I'm kind of glad he's out, to be honest. He kicked off. I've never seen somebody put in so many transfer requests. He's a good player, but 
Yeah, he's he's loan listed at Marseille. So should we get him back in and not play him for shits and giggles? No, no, let's not do that. Let's just ruin his career. Um, another bit of interesting news. Um, the Mohican dickhead Arturo Vidal um, got the Wolves job. They offered me the interview first. I turned it down and then they went to him, which is good because we've had a bit of a spat. And I was asked about it and I said that they'd made a massive mistake and that he's massively overrated. Then he kicked off. It was, it was beautiful. So I don't know who Ranga's manager is. I wonder if, if they've got a... Uh, um, mm -mm -mm. So they had him, caretaker. So yeah, it was there six years. Three league wins, three cup wins. Not bad indeed. Now we've got Anthony Gerrard. Isn't he cousin to Steven Gerrard? He is. And Steven Gerrard was Rangers manager. Keeping it in the family. It's quite random, isn't it? <clears throat> Never quite hit the heights of Steven Gerrard's career. He did start off as an Everton as well, so a bit dirty. I'm sure we can fall out with him. Right, we're going to be playing... Don firmly in the cup. They are doing okay at like mid table. That's not mid table because they're smaller divisions, Loki. How have you not learned this by now? They are relegation zone. <laughs> I've only been I've only been here 20 seasons, lads. It takes a bit for me to catch on that there's only 10 teams in the league. Um so yeah, should be a relatively easy run out. So we're gonna play Elvis. I think do we even play right, Tommy Grieg, you can go and goal. Uh, Nanny McVie's going to gain a game at right back. I'm actually looking to sell Scott Beckett because he kicked up a fat fuss about wanting to leave as soon as a Stoke, the mighty Stoke, came sniffing. So I was like, you know what? You can go. Um, Nanny McVie is a perfectly good backup. He's developed, She's developing well. Sorry. Uh, Cameron and Mullen. Derwin's just come back from injury, so it's good for him to get a game. We've got Duncan Sun as a ball winning midfielder. We've got Gallagher as the Mazzella. We've got Shinny. I'm resting, even though we've had a little break, I'm resting Miller for another game. Actually. Now let's play him, because I want to play him with these two new strikers so they can delight in his wonder. Uh, we've also got Andrea Artesi on loan from Napoli, just as a backup, basically. Not paying any of his wages, so it's kind of perfect backup, really. We're probably not going to get that much game time. Right. Oh, I'm looking forward. What's the odds that nobody, neither of these two are going to score? Okay, let's get into it. But I thought you guys would appreciate it. I, the debut of a player is always quite exciting, especially when there's a team we might score a few goals against. <laughs> right. Every time. Every king time. Um, where are you, Elvis? Okay, let's go. Oh, we can make substitutes and everything. Oh, Bosniak's getting the number nine. Kabugo is getting the number 10. James Gallagher, number 16. I can't believe we got a work permit. It only took like six months as well. Right. Unleash a wondrous new strike force. Ah, oh, neither of them speak English. Um, even when they do speak English, understanding the Scottish accent is going to mystify them. <laughs> I've lived in Northern Ireland for like eight years and most accents most northern irish accents on irish accents because they are very different um i can i can get now but occasionally if they've got a really heavy accent not got a fucking clue kabugo's taking the corner to bosniak his new bestest buddy to gallagher look at the three linking up already jones like they played together all their lives look at that back out to kabugo pings one in it's a decent ball gallagher takes the touch go on Oh, I really wanted that to go in. I'm so good to have him back as well. I know it's a bit old for me to sign a 20, what is he, 23, 24 year old. I know that's a bit on the old side. <laughs> go on, Dunk. Not the best pass, but we're going to get there. Bozniak, what's your crossing like, son? Decent, decent, Duncanson. Ooh. Let's go attacking, lads. Let's go attacking. If we lose this, it's going to be very anticlimactic. <clears throat> right, they're banging in a solid 6.7 and a 6.6. .6. Solid. Okay. <laughs> not, not the... 
oomph that I was... Of course, we don't have a right back on the bench and that's the player we need to sub. I'm only... Okay. Um... Oh, I got... why have I got Lewis Adams on the bench? That's a mistake. Okay, I'm only going to give Miller a half. Dink can play out there. <clears throat> don't want to overdo it. We still should win here. Let's get creative, lads. Come on, one of you score. One of the new guys score. Come on. We could win a... We're on for a double this season. We could win a cup double. The takeover collapsed as predicted, so that was all good. Nothing to worry about. Quite... In an, I've had a number of takeovers over the years and you quite often see that message about them replacing you with their choice of manager. Go on. Oh, he's dunks missed it. Dink. Um, and they often say, oh, they're going to replace. And I've, I've never actually had that happen. So, but because we're underperforming a little bit. Here we go. Bosniak. Oh my word. What a goal. What a way to get your first goal. A little bit of Peter Dinklage over the top. Oh, that's majestic. He's already my fourth favourite player in the squad. What a finish. Probably unnecessary, but it doesn't matter. One-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. He looks at the two guys that can't finish one-on-one -on -one and just says, that. that's how you do it. You see that? Do uh, you see it? He's, he said it in Slovakian, but he, they understood what he got. Oh, Kabu goes through. Kaboogs, go on. Okay, that's more like Morrison. That's what I'm normally used to. It's okay, all right? It's fine. <clears throat> oh, now, we definitely haven't got a right back on the bench. Nanny McVee is off. Ha, I've accidentally put a bit of genius because I know for a fact Lewis Adams can actually is a right-footed player. Sorry, Dink. You've been subbed off. It's the ultimate ignominy. <clears throat> Let's get another goal. Come on. I want Kabugo to get it. Bosniak heads it on. Well, I, I didn't look at their, their PPMs, their player traits, so we'll have to look at the two strikers. Oh, that, that's a misread, that. It's all right. Still learning to play together. Gallagher. Did we... Yes. Meant that. He definitely meant that. Adams. Go on, son. Yeah, he's not... He's he's much more of a centre-back. <laughs> I'm asking him to play an attacking wing-back role. Marauding up the right-hand side. He's barely played a game of football this season. <clears throat> Got to fill in. Yeah? It's like a shit version of James Milner. All right, Derwin. Really want to see a bit more from Derwin the second half of the season. He's done better at left back, but I still want to see more. It's a decent ball across. All right. Omar Sabadin. Why does that name ring a bell? Maybe he scored against us when we were just passing and by in the leagues. That's probably what happened. That's their first shot on target. Because, of course... Of course it is. I don't want extra time, lads. But I don't want to lose. I'll take extra time. Ah, oh, Dunks. Go on, Dunks. Uh, Bojnak, can he play Kabugo in? It's a good ball. Oh, this is an okay ball. Get there, get there, Dunk. Go on, Dunk. Oh, he's... Come on. Back from injury. The ball-winning midfielder. Scores another one. His second of the season. He's delighted with it. I'm staying attacking. I want Kabugo get a goal. Go on, Boogs. That's what we'll call him. Boogs. Proper highlight. This is it. We want Gallagher or Kabugo to score, please. Nice one. That's better defensive work. Solid, solid. Okay, okay, chase it, chase it. I see your work rate. There we go, decent. Let's not concede though, eh? Let's I feel like I'm a bit complacent here, lads. Don't. Not Muck Guffy. Oh! 
Oh, he got under it. He got under it. Right. It was worth it. It was worth it for the Bosnak goal. What a goal to start off your career. It's probably the last goal he'll score for like the next 10 matches. But it was beautiful. Now we have competition. We have competition. For, we've got four strikers, all of which are very good. Well, three are good and one's Morrison. And then we've got central midfielders. We've got the lonely guy. We've got Gallagher in. There still might be more happening, all right, behind the scenes. Right, got that young striker, but maybe more after that. Who knows? I'm crazy. I might get up to all sorts, my friends. All sorts. Actually, I don't think I've got that much money. So probably not going to be that many all sorts. An all sort, if you will. Um. <clears throat> oh. Instant impact. Um, give you a warning for that, mate. It was a silly second yellow. Big dunk. Seven key passes. Holy balls. Um, Connor Crawford. Yeah, this is our other guy that's developing really nicely. But actually, I don't think he's going to get enough game time. We, I recalled him because we were in a bit of a crisis. But I don't think he's going to get enough. Get we're going to get enough game time this season. So I'd rather loan him out so he's getting first-team football. Because he's 19 now. He needs to be getting first-team football because we can keep that loanee guy, um, Artes, as, as the backup guy we don't use. Because we don't. I don't mind if I fuck over that guy's career, but I don't want to fuck over Crawford's career. Let's have a quick look at any uh, traits they've got. None. But he's driven, which is nice. He's got 14 caps and seven goals for Uganda. That is decent. Um, and Bozniak tries killer balls often with his nine passing and nine vision. Not great, but not. it's a striker, so you shouldn't have to worry about that too much. Right, there we go, my friends. Let me know what you think. Um, how much money we got? Three and a half million left and 80 grand in wages. We've got to be really careful because despite the new stadium and you know quadruple the attendance, we are pissing money away, so... We're not going to get anywhere near this budget. In fact, I'm just going to... I know this may seem strange, but I'm going to limit it a bit. Just put it down to 150. I'm not going to spend all that 6 million, but I also want to keep the rage budget realistic because the board will base next year's wages budget on what we've got this year. So they'll just up it to 250 a week and stuff. And I'd rather not have that. Don't tempt me, game. Don't tempt me. I'm also going to be doing a load of scouting for the people with six months left on their contract and all that good stuff so there could be a cheeky little pick up here um <coughs> never in a bazillion years a bazillion i said it never in a bazillion years celtic will i be selling him to you he did say that he'd outgrown the club recently i said i think it's the best answer when somebody wants to leave Hey, mate, you're an influential member of the squad. And he's like, oh, I didn't realise. Am I? Oh, I'll definitely stay then. I'm, like, I'm lying. Touted as the ne next Jim Baxter. Who the fuck is Jim Baxter? <laughs> Yay. Good. He's probably like a Scottish legend. You know, doesn't say much. Right, there we go, my friends. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.